<laughs> Don't even know why I'm contemplating filming this. It's only going to go one way. Morning folks. Today it's time for a bit of fencing. We've got to finish off the end of the secret meadow because, well, we never got it done before and the sheep have been over there for weeks. We've got some rails to go on. These creosote posts are the ones left from the first project, so these are going in the bottom field in the future once we've got something to whack them in with. Uh, but these rails we can do today. Well, that is almost certainly not a secure load. But we'll see how we get on. All right, it's probably gonna be a lot easier if I explain it all while we're down there. Ah, now that is not helpful. I thought the sheep might be over the other side. As soon as I move this fence, they're gonna to wanna to go. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. Right, let me show you what we're dealing with. Now it's my new t-shirt today. My birthday present. So remember going that way, we've got about 400 meters of high tensile fence all in with the electric on top. Not on yet. Down this end, however, we just got posts. And um, that's mainly because if this floods, it flows that way. And the last thing I wanted is to build a, a sieve. I still want the top wire to be electric because that's what will bring over the supply from the other side if we run it off mains and then it will carry on down that 400 meters. Anything that comes flowing down here, if it does come down, it's probably less likely to wipe out a wire. Um, but even if it did, it's only one strand to, reply, uh, to replace. And remember down this end, we need to finish it off down into the brook with some rails down on an angle. I think we've got enough. Ah, uh, not the best start, forgot my nails.
Well, apart from whacking my thumb on the last nail, I think we're done. Well, done for phase one. So it turns a bit here. I need to carry it on either that way or bring it back into that tree. But I don't think for now there's any reason to worry about that a little bit there. We're now, uh, well, I think the only thing we'd stop is a horse or a llama right now. So we need to get some wires in. I'm gonna aim for, if we aim for one in the middle here, that gives about 150, 200 mil gap above and below. And then I'm probably gonna put two strands below here. Maybe I shouldn't have cleaned the truck. One of them just headbutted its reflection. All right, bit of an update. So far I've got a single strand in between the two. Relatively tight, but I'm gonna get some, uh, a kit of gripple stuff at some point. So I've left enough the other end so I can tighten it, but it'll do the job for now. And then again, up top, I've put a single barb to carry that one around. Now I've worked out a way of tensioning this with no tools. And that is because we've got a bit of a crank at the end. If I strain it from the end post across to there with a little bit of a dip in it, I can then put... This is a typical beginning of the week, no charged batteries affair. Uh, we'll jump onto the phone. So what I've worked out is if I tighten it from one end to the other, ignoring all the other posts, then I can strain it, get it over the back of our turning post here, and it ends up pulling it pretty tight you know, as tight as it would be if I strained it with chains. So let's work with that barbed wire. I think I'm gonna try and do the same with this one. No, I can't do that because I can't now slot it over the top, can I? Hmm, okay, just have to use muscle. So this is what we've got down the other end, which is 800 mil of stock fencing, barbed, and then the electric on top. And then this is what we've kind of got down this end. Now the idea being that when water, flood water comes down through here, washing sticks and branches and all sorts, it shouldn't catch up, but we've got nowhere near as many um, verticals and less horizontals. So hopefully that will work better. And if worse comes to worse, then the bottom wine needs to be replaced every few years. That's not the end of the world. So what we've got is two plain, two rails. These will be tightened up, but they're tight enough to keep the sheep in for now. And then same height barb and the same height electric. So the idea being we can connect up our electric, probably run it overhead, over the brook, all the way up to the mains. Uh, or if needs be, we can bring the solar or battery over here as well. But I kind of like the idea we can run mains round and then we can always divide the all these fields up, all, all this um, land up into different fields, different paddocks, and know that we've got plenty of power going all the way. What we can do is if, if we did ever want to run pigs loose in here, we can bring out an offset insulator with a, a poly wire electric on it and that would keep them away from the fence altogether um, and we know that that works pretty well you can see where they are up on the bank over there they are being held in by two very thin strands of poly and they never touch the stuff in actual fact it's been turned off for the last 12 hours because uh, i was using the extension lead and forgot to plug it back in are those sheep winding you up hog Come on, girls, up you get. I heard you scratching. What have you done to my bumper? Can't be any worse than what it was. All right, for your next install of uh, HodgePodge Farm, laugh with Tim. We've got an ear tag, six fully grown pigs. Could be squealy. And I didn't bring any apples to bribe them. So now, it's a bit of all rounder. We may as well take only what we need. Because I've got tags here for sheep, those pigs, these pigs. Put the tag into the pliers and seat into the indent. Ah, yeah, I see it. I feel like for the sake of 40, 50p, we should probably test it out on this. It's a bit of a waste, but I'd rather get it right. So. Is that it? Well, the bag didn't squeal. I'm sure the pigs will. Yeah, the whole thing doesn't have to go through. So there's actually a very small point that pierces their ear. One, two, three. It's wishful thinking that I'm gonna get them all. Don't even know why I'm contemplating filming this. 
it's only going to go one way. And that's going to be pigs one, Tim zero. First job is to get them all in. Come on, babe. So they've got this little arc over here now. It should be fine for the four of them. It should be four of them in two days time. Uh, and they tend to sleep outside at the moment. But what I need to do is empty this trailer and pressure wash it so it's nice and clean and ready to take them on Friday. You can go now. Go on. I can't believe it didn't leave. And another thing we need to do before Friday is replace the damper in here. Because this, as you can see, it's got no uh, damping left in it, and the, chew, the pigs have uh, the pigs have chewed off the bellows, the gate a bit that sits over here. All in all, not great. In the next week or two, we're going to be looking at what we do on this bank, whether it's a herbal lay, reseeding with grass, wildflower, all sorts. Um, so they've done the hard work, but I don't want to let just to go to nettles which is what will happen if we don't do something with it quick. 